Hi friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. I am in a new place. This is the age-old clothis. For me, it is the place where all great things are born. <laughs> Idea-wise, just vision-wise, and I feel called to come back into this space uh, and reclaim it as such. Uh, it has been previously my storage space and obviously just like a closet, but um, it's the only southern facing window that I have access to and coming back to Chicago has been a bit of a challenge with the less sunshine available and less nature of access to nature that's, um, uh, you know, just winter uh, brings. So here I am playing with the format of this YouTube channel. Thanks for being here with me. Um, if you want to support me, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Uh, it helps more people uh, see the channel, helps more people see this video. So let's talk about this week. I'm recording on Sunday the 12th, and we're talking about the forthcoming week, March 13th through the 19th. This is where Pisces season gets really real, right? We're, we're leading up to the spring equinox um, next weekend and early week. Um, at that time, we move into Aries season. Um, it's the 11th hour, because it's like the very final, final time period of not only Pisces season, but the entire astrological year. And Pisces rules the 11th house, sorry, the 12th house. Secrets. Secrets and like really, really deep feelings, the subconscious, our spirituality, um, and where we find meaning, ultimately. And there's evidence this week that we're, our, our heads are going to be up in the clouds. We're going to be dreaming and envisioning. And, you know, there's always a risk of disillusionment, I guess, within that dreamscape. Let me tell you about some of the themes that have come up for this week that I've identified. Monday, reinforcing imagination, chaos, feverish activities to promote illusion. Hmm? Promote illusion. You know, and I'm called to say here, let's not call it illusion, let's call it vision. Illusion, vil vision. Illusion has a negative connotation, but I don't think that that's necessarily going to be true for everybody. But I will say if there is, if you are struggling with like a bit of an identity crisis, that's also here. And that could be a bit of an illusion if we're disillusioned from our true uh, calling or in a state of denying something, you know, a part of ourselves. That is an illusion that we carry that to not acknowledge that. Otherwise, if you're feeling more positive lately, I would say there is going to be a lot of um, things and ideas coming up and surfacing that can help support uh, a vision. Maybe there's um, something you've been wanting to action on and not quite seeing all the steps. I think that we're called to surrender a bit and let go of and let things sort of be swept away so that new things can come in and it will become clear, but maybe not this week. <laughs> so we have dreamer, head in the clouds, confusion about identity, temporary disillusionment, Wednesday, questionable thinking, will and ego versus rational thinking. So we're not able to think super rationally at this time. And I don't think that's the point to do that just yet. Um, we have some love transits coming in Thursday. Uh, Venus moves into Taurus at the same time that it's square Pluto. That's like power and control issues in relationships, right? And sometimes we want to do whatever it takes to maintain the status quo of how a relationship was previously built. But I would say to that, you know... We haven't always done a good job of, of assessing and acknowledging how relationships have changed over time. So I feel like that's where um, there's rooms for, you leave room for ultimatums, um, wanting to assert yourself, assert your leadership. But this is also a positive thing because it's enhancing our courage and independence to say, this isn't working anymore. 
um, you know, I need to go in this other direction or something like that. Um, by Saturday, there is an increased need for companionship. You want to attract serious lovers and commitments. Little things won't do anymore. This is what Saturn moving into Pisces really is for me. Is like every when Saturn was in Aquarius, and I think I mentioned this last week as well. We were more keen on seeing the ways that big systems and structures have been limiting us, and the way we have played into um, systems and structures to limit us and allowed them to limit us. Now, because Saturn is the planet of limitations, right, and challenges. Once Saturn moves into Pisces, which didn't it already? Yeah, last week on the full moon. <laughs> With Saturn in Pisces for the next few years, we're going to be deeply assessing and feeling also deeply how how we've allowed limitations to block our progress, whether it's external or internal. And I say with Pisces, maybe we're maybe leaning more towards the edge of where have my self-sabotaging behaviors caused me to stop the progress that I had been making. And if it is in your mind, right, because this week we have this, this theme of disillusionment or illusionment, we may be coming around to finally seeing or revealing those systems that we have adhered to, right, willingly or unwillingly, that blocked our personal progress and that have blocked our ability to access um, our true desires, access the path to our desires. I'll say that. So stand up for what you believe in. Do not lie. It's a call to authenticity at this point. And then next Sunday, Mercury moves into Aries. At the same time, we reach the spring equinox. There's a pivotal change here at the end of the week and at the start of next week. It's uh, pioneering ideas, full steam ahead, and the moon is in Pisces. So again, we're feeling our relationships very deeply. I think it's it's contextually thinking about ourselves, thinking about us and other people, us and institution, us in our relationships. Yeah, so I'm really happy. Let's get into a card reading. I'm really happy that I have my all my decks with me. Because for the last two months, I've been using just this one deck. But today I'm called to pull a few oracle, different oracle cards. So we'll do that. All right. So our theme for today is Seven of Pentacles and Justice. Yeah, something is being rebalanced. As in, has there been a matched effort? Has there been a matched effort for what you have been doing and for what you have been receiving? If there is not a perceived match effort, that's where things may be falling away or changing. Okay, I took a brief pause to shuffle the Oracle deck, so let's get into what we're seeing today. Joy and delight, open your heart to joy. Mm, Mother Mary is showing up from the Angel Oracle and past lives. So we're thinking about repeated patterns, things that are no longer working. Uh, past lives is very dreamy as well. There's Neptune. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. And Mother Mary is a universal symbol of compassion. She's the one patting you on the back. Like, look how far you've come. There's no need to um, feel sorry for yourself or to grieve what is falling away when past lives. There's something on your path that is uh, karmically attached to you that is coming in, in a sense. So you got to make some space um, and be in the uh, energy of joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Okay. Oh, I saw a card I almost wanted to come out. I saw what it was too. Let's see if it does come. Yeah, Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, The Chariot, Page of Swords, Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, The Moon, Ten of Swords. Ay, ay, ay. See, here's this battle, this internal battle. It's with the mind, primarily. 
primarily. So if you have been feeling blocked, I do believe this is a result of this need to step into your own capacity for self-love. Um, this is the Mother Mary energy and this Ace of Cups energy of fresh, um, loving, um, balanced emotional energy wanting to come in. And that's ultimately ending this destructive, negative mental cycle that's keeping us behind. So maybe we did take a step back. It's two steps forward, one step back sort of feeling where um, this week we may be feeling sort of blocked. Blocked as in like we don't have what we need or we don't feel totally balanced. Mm -hmm. So if you've been doing a lot, maybe it's time to focus on being something, being somewhere. Uh, slowing down a bit just to see and observe how the mind is working. Where has your, um, I'll say, impulsivity or your naivety uh, caused you to, or caused, not caused you, but caused this moon, this moon card shows up. That's confusion. So it's like we, we're not able to, to exactly see our wounds. Um, in some ways, I think there's that revelation of the wound here. And then once we can see it and identify it, that's when we learn to forgive and bring compassion forward. And that puts an end to the negative destructive thought patterns. So I see Cancer here. I see Pisces. There's a lot of water on the table, which makes sense for this week as well. Hi, poor job. Oh, for a second I thought my cat was going to join. Oh, there he is. You want to see what we're doing? Mm. Come here. Mm. This is pork chop. So. I think there is a cause to trust a new path. Um, we may not feel totally prepared. We may not feel totally in alignment or connected intuitively to it, but it is providing some relief. And so to that end, you know, there has been a message recently of uh, do what makes you um feel in that creative flow state, right? That's also Pisces. My goodness, y'all. The cat was in here. I needed to take a minute to just <laughs> collect myself. Um, and I realized the sound's not on. I'm sorry for the poor sound again. Um, so no problem. Let's keep moving forward. This, this sort of feels like if this is your reality, you've been all work, no play, having, having trouble feeding into or playing into your creativity, this might provide important medicine. Do something that makes you feel like you're in that flow state, like you're in that creative space. Mm, experimenting with your different forms of expression. I feel that that is what can help you get beyond this these self-limiting beliefs. Do something you've never done before, for example. Um, your own resistance to trying something new is showing you where your subconscious fears lie. Once you can understand where that fear is, where that pain is, and you can, I like to speak it out loud, bring your fear into your outwardly consciousness, into your loving awareness, and therefore ending this cycle, okay? That will bring about a bit more balance. Now, I'd like to get another card about past lives here. Let me see more actually with the Dream Oracle deck. It's been a while since I used this one. Show me more about past lives. Excitement. Okay. If you feel stuck because there's um, something that you know is on your path, 
but hasn't happened yet. Again, this is why we want to go and maybe put our attention into something else to realize that we're not, if we're, if the thing's not coming for us yet, we're not quite ready yet. If you reach for it, it will take it further away. If you try to action on something that isn't quite ready, it will push it further away. So let's read this uh, past lives from the book here. A memory or symbol indicating a past life experience that may feel like deja vu, which has a message for you that applies to your present life. Take care not to discount such emotionally charged dream imagery, a reminder of a past pattern or lesson which can aid you in the present. Look for imagery and patterns in the querence dream which connect beyond the present life and context. You may be receiving input from prior life events that may have you energetically blocked or that are being repeated in this one. Pay special attention to the emotional charge and theme to change the script and shed what no longer serves you. Mm -hmm. 1038. You may be worried that you are overexcited or rushing into something, but that is not the case. Enjoy the moment. Okay, so previously I had given the, the upright definition of this card which is if you reach for something it will go further it will be further away what is meant to be will come in time be patient but i feel that if it's in the reverse then it's actually a lot closer than you think start trusting yourself in the universe enjoy this moment mother mary is here to say it's already on its way joy and delight is the energy to embody this week as you lean into self-discovery um, the kind of self-discovery that allows you to become your own healer as you understand more about what is it, what is um, producing your emotions? Where are those, where is that coming from? Is it from a past life? Is it from past situations? Is it from childhood? And again, bring those into your loving awareness and ending some, some very important cycle here. Mm -hmm. Best of luck to you, seriously. And um, I hope this helps uh thanks so much for being here for continuing to be here um i want to put out a call if anyone is in chicago that's where i am i'm doing group breaky session at miss ellis healing kitchen it's in albany park 7 p.m on march 26th i'll drop more details about that below see you there